Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Donita, your Pinay teacher in Norway. So in this video, I will show you all those places that you can visit here in the Orlan Komune or in English, the Orlan community. Let's start our tour. Our first stop is the Grande Fiare. It is the country's largest shore with 10 km of shoreline and a protected area of 21 km squared. And these are the sample pictures of those birds that you can see in this area. There are over 200 species of birds that have been registered in this nature reserve place that are migrating here seasonally. It is also not allowed to capture, hunt, or kill those birds. And if you really want to enjoy to see them more closely, you can have a telescope with you. There are also lots of information here, but most of them are written in Norwegian, but there is also an English translation for everything. And if you will continue to walk, you will see a small amphitheater that you can sit inside to relax and read more information about this place. Also, they have a grilling place that you can use if you want to have a barbecue time with your family or friends when you are here. On top of that, there is a nice overview of the wonderful shore and when you want to explore more, you can also walk through the shore and experience the nature. After visiting the nature reserve place of Grande Fiare, there is just an 11 minutes drive to Brexta and that is a place that you can also enjoy with your family and friends and also suitable for kids. And that place is the Brew Holman. And from here you can also see the ferry that is traveling to the another island. And also they have an outdoor bathroom here that you can use when you really need to go to the bathroom while you are enjoying and exploring the nature. And I would like to say that I am very satisfied with this bathroom because it's very clean. And now we will just continue our tour. So if you will just walk through those paths, you will have a very nice view of this place. Myself in the endless man 
All I can say is Brew Holman is a combination of a forest and also a shore or a beach. So you can go through the forest and then walk down to the beach and that is one of the things that I really admire in this place. Of course, there is also a place here where you can also sit and relax after exploring the nature. Our third place to visit is a forest. It is a special forest because this is a forest of the trolls and it is a 5 minutes drive from the Brew Holman. And now we are entering the Troll Skugan or the forest of the trolls. A troll is a being in Scandinavian folklore including the Norse mythology. In Norwegian tradition, Trolls are more often a larger creatures that is ugly giants that turn to stone in the sunlight. While staying here in Norway, I just observed that trolls are very popular mythical creatures, most especially to the kids. And Norwegians are very traditional and creative in their history. And most of those places here in Norway was named by trolls. There are Troll Stigen and Troll Tunga. Those places are very spectacular that I also recommended you to check it out. From Troll School again, we will just continue our tour to our fourth stop, and that is the Ostrot Lunden or the Ostrot Woods. Let's go! So here we are in the Ostrot Lunden or you are walking into the woods, into the trees, into the forest and you can have an enclosed encounter with the moose or other wild deers here. So here you can experience to touch them. Ostrot Lunden is a landscape area with distinctive woodland. It is facilitated by walkways. It has a rich and special flora and fauna and has a moose and deer in the grove. It also has a total of 74 species of birds and has the northernmost sprawling oak that is standing here. Beside the Ostrot London is the Ostrot Fort, Fossen Creek Historia Samlinger, or History of the War Museum.
Ostrot Fort is a disused coastal artillery site located at Ostrot in Orland. It was constructed in 1942 by the German merchant to protect the Trondheim Fjord during the German occupation of Norway on World War II. The fort centerpiece is a triple 28cm SK334 11-inch gun turnet from the German battleship, which was damaged in Kiel. The three-gun turnet weighs 800 tons and was capable of firing 730-pound shells. The last firing took place in 1953 and the fort was decommissioned in 1968. It is opened as a museum in 1991. A skilled guides will take you through the facility, which also includes in Fosun War Historical Collection, a comprehensive exhibition that attempts to convey war as it was experienced here in Fosun. After the Ostrot Fort, the next attraction place that we will visit is the Ostrot Borgen or the Ostrot Church. The Ostrot Church or the Ostrot Manor is one of Norway's oldest manors and one of the country's most formidable cultural sites from medieval times. From 1721, the manor was owned by private owners, but since in 1919, Ostrot has been owned by the state. Ove Vjelke was one of the foremost noblemen of Norway in the 1600s. He's responsible for Ostrot the way we know the manor today with the pyramid from 1665. From the Ostrot church, it takes six minutes drive to our last stop, the Rusaset Vatnet. Rusaset Vatnet used to be one of the very few common weed and rush lakes in the province of Sortrondalag, but in the late 80s, it dried out. 
In recent years, a very extensive yet successful restoration process has taken place. So now, you'll find boat breeding and migrating species by the water. This place also has the privilege of having its own assembly hall. Here are the sample pictures of bird species that you can be seen through the year here in Rusaset Vatna. And now we are here in the Rusaset Vanet. This is the largest restored wetland here in Norway. And from Rusaset Vanet, you will see the majestic mountain of Osplikamen. I already climbed this mountain before and it has the most breathtaking views all over our municipality, the Orland Komone. And this is how it looks like. If you want to see how I made it through the top of this mountain, just click the video next in this vlog. Thank you for watching and see you on my next video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more updates.